Hey, Orange One here. Oh man, I am excited. I have updated to the new, uh, the latest version as of the 17th of uh, July. And I, I'm a little bit confused, but basically here's all of your items just displayed as items. They are stored in things here. Um, and so I can look at this item and um, let's see not that uh, let's see what would have storage in it like this right here this right here we look at that I think it, it has like stuff inside of it maybe not uh Maybe, oh, it would definitely be in this. Yeah, the Molly pack. Let's see. It has containing items with qualities. Let's see, okay, so O opens that. Okay, so then I can have a look-see as to what's inside of my Molly pack. Okay. Um, I have tea that is in that thermos, but yeah, whatever. That's kind of confusing how it's displayed. Whatever, let's go ahead and it's I also want to show you look at the finale that we've got here. If you know anything about this game, you're like, dude, seriously. Uh oh, wrong wrong button. I did not mean to do that. Uh I thought I I, I would I had pressed S for switching firing mode. Okay, that's uh um, back up a little bit. This dude unfortunately It's gonna be a lot faster than me because we're pretty cold right now. I mean, if I wanted to, I could get adrenaline going. It might be worth it. We'll, we'll see if we need to. Um, I think we need to. Yeah. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, he's actually pretty hurt. I'm gonna just. Oh, no, don't step into the dissector. We're just going to go on the other side here. I'm going to... Nope. I, I want to reload my gun. Why are you reloading the gas mask? Whatever. Whatever, man. Uh, let's get our aim up. It doesn't have to be perfect. That should be good enough. There we go. All right. Zombos down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're very cold. Um, oh, the thermal... What happened to my battery? I know I had batteries. I had batteries with me. I think... Uh, I think the items must have not spawned with me when I updated the game. Sorry, I know this seems kind of like I'm cheating, but I had these items with me. Yes. I don't, I don't care about achievements. Um... Let's see. What was I looking for? A uh, battery. A medium battery. One of these, please. Please tell me it spawns charged. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. That. Let's reload that. Oh, actually, uh, what? I had them in my survivor suit. I am an idiot. Oh, man. Can't believe that. Um, let's let's see if we can um, salvage this. Let's uh, try and uh, I'm gonna actually get my adrenaline going to get us out. We'll we'll get this loot in a little bit. Right now, honestly, our number one concern is just not freezing to death because right now we're, our character is literally freezing. It's not even very cold. Like that's not good. Um, there's an upstairs right there. I think that's where I want to go. I can go upstairs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're gonna start getting really hurt. Yeah, you see that damage that's happening right now? We just need to get to like somewhere that where it's actually a reasonable temperature. There's fungaloids. There's a whole lot of them. 
Um, and here we go. We're good. All right, we made it. Um, we'll just wait a little, little minute here. <laughs> oh man, Cataclysm. I thought, I thought you had me there. I, I guess. Um, well, dang, I disabled achievements. <laughs> Why was that, when I looked at it earlier, not popping up? Whatever. That I won't use. Check this out. I've got a little, like, um, kind of base. I don't know. Not really a base. See, when I looked at the menu there, it doesn't re let you reload from the activate menu. So, like, I have tons of batteries, like, for, like, my flashlight there. There we go. So check this out. I got, like, a little bit of food. It's frozen. It's, you know, I, I know it's not really food, but, you know, Bachelor's Life, right? Um, sorry, wrong one. There we go. And we are going to have an adrenaline come down, unfortunately, to deal with. That's uh, better than freezing to death. Honestly, as long as we get up to a good body temperature, I think we'll be fine. I think I just kind of, like, was goofing around with the, the zombie there. That lets my troubles. Yeah, I was also trying to think like, like this looks like, um, this part of the lab here. I think I might want to just break into. I don't know. Kind of like what's up there, you know? This thing right here has got my, me a little curious. Oh, cataclysm! Like I was just playing Halo this morning, and uh. I really like that game, but there's nothing that compares to the freedom that you have in this game. Yeah, I think we're gonna just like hang out a little bit, just for like another five minutes, just to let our body temperature be like for sure good. We'll turn that on, and we're gonna. Um, for some reason, it says you're not hauling items now when you start to run. We're gonna just take a couple steps running. Just to start us off a little quick and then we'll go on foot from here and we'll just try and get to uh, our final destination let's see I think that we're yeah we're starting to get pretty cold but we're not freezing freezing you know so here's here's where it really matters uh, let's see what we can get and that's pretty cool. Um, computer printout, what does that have on it? I really want that. That, all of it. I can take all of it? Sure. Okay. UPS, sure. That too. Like that. Okay, I guess. Um, oh, hold on. Nope. I'd... This and that. It says that the volume, I can take that. Uh, that's weird. And I can't uh, necessarily bring that with me. This is a plasma gun. Well, I can carry it with me up to the up and out, you know. Okay, let's get. Um, see, this is why it's nice to have that little midway point here. Because now we can run. Um, not necessarily run and we're walking right now but we can get ourselves out of here get our body to good temperature and then uh, then continue going up you know like we can just kind of like hang out here for a little bit and then head up honestly we don't need to have this any more established you may also notice that I had a little blanket and pillows set up here yeah, we had like a little little nap time area. <laughs> um and so yeah, that's that's what we got going on here. Life is good. That stuff's still frozen, unfortunately. Um we do have our tea. Um and it's Oh, the sorbet is is frozen. Nice. Hey. We have a little bit more of that. Looks like we're hungry. We'll let ourselves get to a little bit of a better temperature. Also, eh, we'll, we'll keep all that stuff on, I think. 
Let's see, where am I trying to... I, I want to get out, which is up here, right? I cleared this up. It's nice that I did that because now it's like serves as a reminder like, oh yeah, you need to go up here to get out of here. You know? Like it's like a little uh, cookie crumb trail. There is possibly some other stuff that um, could be in the lab, like in the lower parts I haven't really explored. So I think I will explore it by more, but I don't necessarily need to have you guys with us there for every little bit of that because it is pretty tedious me diving up and down like that. God, these fungaloids are everywhere. They've, they've taken over the place, honestly. I ruined it. Some might say. Oh, also, check this out. Oh, hey, Harvey. He's hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, why don't you come with us, Harvey? Check this out, man. I've got a plasma gun. <laughs> Whirlpool Plasma Accelerator, very cool, huh? What does the computer handout have in it? I'm just curious. Nothing to be closed? Okay, there we go. Alright, um... I am just curious. Um, if I want to read that computer handout, what does it tell me? Plutonium cell... Okay, so it's like fuel for how to make fuel for these things. Is that basically what it is? Yes, uh, plutonium fuel batteries. That's interesting. What do you even use those for? I mean, I know that I would need to use that for this, right? Isn't that what it's... It needs a hydrogen canister. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we got some cool sci-fi weapons. I mean, the laser weapons, to be honest, are... Eh. They're not amazing. They're very um, low damage output. You know? I, I'll, show, I'll show them off. I've kind of done that in my other series um a little bit before so i won't spend a ton of time on them but they're pretty cool hey what we don't uh, maybe no we don't need the ups we'll dump the ups here though well actually no we'll, we'll hold on to it because it'll be nice to use that sure take that And then we should be able to, um, looks like there's an uncharged medium battery that was around here somewhere. That's weird. Is it just like laying around here somewhere? I'm not seeing it now. Okay, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy person. Ignore me. I'm not going to use the plasma gun because its ammo is pretty rare. Um, actually, can I reload it though? Yep, I do. I did reload it there. It's reloaded. Uses up 100 UPS per shot. It basically makes little explosions. It's a pretty cool gun, but it's not something I would really want to use. Um, just to like mess around. Uh, let's go ahead and get the the laser rifles really where it's at. This is actually a half decent gun. Oh. So I can I can shoot them from here. Twenty six damage. I mean that's that's respectable. Uh, let's see. Do I have my UPS? I do. Uh, this. Turn this off so it doesn't drain my power. You know, you can you can actually Wow, 30 damage is, is more than I remember from this thing. And like, yeah, if I have a UPS. That's not too bad at all. I'm using that from my own power. Not super sustainable. The nice thing is that it also has an auto mode, so check this out. 
and that auto mode very accurate like super super accurate so i could just like honestly like have a ton of batteries um and just like have a good ups system myself um and kind of like run off of that or you know i could do the more practical solution of just like having batteries in the car and and staying close to the car in any case uh nosh has his weapon his you know the weapon like if you're if you know his character is based off of oh actually we can we can turn this off we don't need, need that on any, anymore um the character has like this top secret weapon that's like this amazing thing that people are like what is it we need to know what it is um well now we know what it is okay, let's see uh i don't know i mean i kind of want to dive down more there myself but i don't think i will not for now let's maybe check out the mine or we could go for the military um out outpost and the military outpost could have some pretty cool stuff to be honest there's a number of military outposts i was thinking of doing that i don't know about these bunkers i've not seen that before but i kind of want to check those out and also i could go ant squishing with this uh with my gun i could just get like a ton of ammo and just like go down there I mean, we could try and make an assault on the ants. I'm not saying that I'm against it, you know? Go ahead and just reload all of that and let's see how many static mags do I have. I know I've got some more in here. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of those. I think that, um,. We can just kind of reload those fully. And are they just like automatically being put in there? Um, let's see. I think they are. I think that the game is auto stashing things in there. And this has, if we look at this, um, it has the two things full, and if we look at that, that has the two things full. Cool. All right, so yeah, all all of those are accounted for. Where's our drum mag? That's weird. Did that get like deleted when we updated? Tell me that the the drum mags are, and we got the scar drum mag. I must have dropped it somewhere. Lots well, of disappointment. I'll have to go back and, and look for it. I also have some cybernetics I want to install. There's like the diamond corneas. But I didn't want to do that here. I want to maybe... I mean, there's so much good stuff for us to explore up here, but maybe we could go back to the city and install the CBMs down there. You know? Like... No need to get overly ambitious and and ruin everything. Yeah, I mean, it might be kind of fun to just... Oh, hold on. What's this? Good thing we didn't drive over it. Can I put it here? Where is it? There it is. Uh, nope. Cannot put it there. Let's see, what do we have here? Eh, that, that probably would work, right? And the laser pistol is super weak. It's basically just a smaller version of the, the rifle. Um, he is very hungry. Do I have any meat? I could rehydrate some meat for him. And honestly, we could we should probably just go kill something. And then feed that to him. Not an ant, though, because he's gonna be like, Oh, that's mutant meat. And, like, be all mad about it, you know? You know how 
kids are. Like, gross, I don't want to eat that. Or, you know, like, I mean, it is a mutant thing. Um, I kind of am a little bit nervous about just wielding this um, laser gun, to be completely honest. And it's a really cool gun. Let's just put it away, though, for now. And we could use it actually on the ants, but we have so many other of the other bullets, and it's easier. It's just so much easier than carrying the UPS and trying to deal with that. It's just way, 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 way easier. I have a hard time, honestly, keeping track of all the stuff that I have um, with how this menu is set up right now. I mean, maybe I just need to get used to it, though. If I'm completely honest, I think I just need to get used to it. Oh my gosh, look at all that food. There's a lot of it. I can have some, uh, my black tea there. Some clean water. It was kind of nice. I actually sorted things in a semi-reasonable fashion as well. Um, sure, you can have some Marsala. Looks like you really like that for some reason. Whatever. Okay, let's, uh, let's roll out. Let's see if we can find some non-mutant creatures for Harvey to eat the meat from. Or the lard from. I think he eats lard and cracklings. I think he's okay with that. There's a dwarf coyote there. Where are they? Up there? Okay, well, let's, let's go kill us a dwarf coyote. Or, I mean, honestly, I was like, gonna get the gun out, but they make it that easy for me. Because the, the thing about the gun is that I would also attract attention. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of sneak out. Excuse me. Pardon me. Now grab that. Back in here. And where is it? There we go. Drop that. We're gonna just close that just so that we don't get disturbed. Okay. Uh, fool of a tree. Yeah, it's a small corpse, so it's not gonna need like fancy tools or anything. Okay. How much did we get there? It's, it's okay. We'll just cook that up, honestly. Any of that meat? Uh, let's go with, I think, we're just gonna, I, mean, I don't think he'll eat this because the enjoyability is really negative. I mean, my character, I could make us eat that. Let's just cook up all the meat for him. I think he's, he's pretty hungry, honestly. But if you just, you know, kill a coyote and then feed him all of the meat, he might, like, stop complaining. <laughs> And I know that there was that one person who was like, stop, like, get rid of their needs. But I think that's kind of funny. Like, the fact that I'm like, okay, let's take a break from, like, you know, saving the world. Yeah, I'm, uh, there's, like, some pretty serious air quotes on that. Just... Oh, what's, uh, what's going on out here, guys? Okay, so I'm just coming out here because it's just easier to trade with him. Uh, see, oh wow, they've really cleaned up this menu. Uh, there's something I want you to do. Let's trade items. Um, okay, this is still kind of, kind of crazy, but where's the food here? More? No. Uh, the cooked meat is, uh, V11. Okay, yep, take that. I think that that's good. Yep, let's go. He's eating it. He's just got it in his hands. He's eating it. Cool. I think he's, he's actually, like, let's see. Um, can I, I, I'm just curious, um, because this menu is so different now. 
If I go to, I want you to do something. Uh, can I look at your items? Okay, you have a... Uh, where's your Valax, man? Oh, don't tell me you left the Valax. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. No, I'm pretty sure that he's not got his Valax. Is he... I think he's, like, preoccupied with the task of eating right now. Maybe he used to do that, like, instantly. I don't know. You should be trying to get into the vehicle right now. Come on. There we go. Now he's, he's actively eating, I'm pretty sure. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Let's go. There we go, he's in his seat. Um, you know, I suppose we can go back to the lab and check for his Valax, because I would rather not have to, like, um, spawn in another one. We don't have to. And that was kind of silly of me not to check um, on the NPC to make sure that he had everything after the update. It's, uh... No, oh, jeez, there's a ton of holes here. There's some serious action there. <laughs> the nice thing is the fact that I had him waiting inside means that I didn't drive over it earlier when, um... We came through here. Yeah, dude, where is your your item? Uh, can I trade some items with you, friend? Can you give me back that cooked meat. Yep. Yeah, and then like if I look at you, you you don't have that item equipped, my friend. That Balax of, of yours. That's so weird. Um, and you're a little bit thirsty as well. I just don't see where else it, it would be right now. His items. Uh, or his Balax specifically. I mean, he probably is half decent in hand to hand combat as well, is the thing. Yep. Okay, well, I guess we gotta spawn it in for him. Come here, Harvey. Spawn an item. Alex, uh, yeah, so we want the real one. I don't know what happened to his, but we got another one here for you, buddy. I know that I did not tell him to like put it down. Is also kind of like why I'm like not feeling too bad about despawning this in for him. Uh, where is it? God, I have a hard time finding things in here. Okay, F, right there. Okay, there we go. He's got his axe again. Looking spiffy as ever, my friend. Actually, if I look at your gear, I, I wonder... Yeah, I really should fix up your gear as well. Can I... Can I have you unequip that, please? Oh no, I just crashed the game after doing all that. Okay, well, you get the idea. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it all sorted out and yeah, <laughs> that is really annoying. Okay, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.